Howdy folks, it's John from the Jersey Shore again, and I, uh, I got another early Christmas present from Renny G. It's some high quality premium solar panels, RNG 150D, these are the 150 watt panels. And they came FedEx. And there is no um, freight or anything. They come regular FedEx. Um, I noticed it seems like the bigger panels, the six foot panels, the ones that are probably these two put together, come freight. Like all of my Cure series and whatnot. But these came FedEx. So I'm going to open them up and. Um, we're just going to temporarily set them up and uh, see what we got as far as power and everything. And uh, I'll hit you back when I uh, start to open them up. Alrighty. See you in a bit. this baby open. It's like a big pizza box. Oh yeah. That's just the type of pizza I want to get. What's this the back? Open. Boom. Some good shit right here. Got the MC4 connectors. Let's see. Should be mono crystal on. And it is. Mono crystal on. Four new panels, baby. Yeah. And I'm going to be hooking these up to the uh, kick controller, by the way, too. So, um, what I'll do is, um, let me grab my tape measure. I'll show you the dimensions of these panels. And uh, I'll show you the ratings and whatnot in the back. But, yeah. These I'm just going to set up temporarily on the deck, and uh, when we move, I'm just going to pack them up, ship them over to a new place. Alrighty. Okay. Let's do a measurement of what these panels are. 39 by 39 and a half. Pretty square. All right. Okay, so here are the specs on the, uh, okay, so here are the specs on the new panels. The RNG 150Ds. All right. 
So I'll get them all unpacked and we'll uh, check them all out. And hook them all up to the kid. Alrighty. Catch you later. Alright folks, uh, right now I just have it kind of propped up on my hot tub cover here. And my uh, dust pan here. Just to kind of give you an idea on my uh, tester of uh, the reading. One of these panels. Voltage. There we go. Gotta get it up in the sun. The sun's lower this time of year, so it's right at uh, the uh, open current voltage, which is 22.5. So we got power. And now we don't because I lost my lead, but it works. Alright, so I'll uh, test the rest of the three and connect them and hook them to the kid. I'll show you the results. I'll see you in a bit. Howdy folks, uh, it's a nice uh, gorgeous day today um, compared to most of the days of this winter break. Um, it's uh, January 3rd, 2016. Uh, these are my new panels, Renogy panels. I just temporarily just laid them out here on the deck. Um, they've been sitting out here since a uh, um, little after Black Friday, I guess. I'm sorry. Um, around the first week, second week of December and um, what I did, I just crudely hooked them up kinda tucked the wire in my uh, in my deck um, little gap there and ran it right here just so nobody trips hooked them up in series and uh, I'll go show you what I connected to. Okay. So they are connected um, to my Midnight Kid. And this is the result so far. It's uh, 12 noon right now. And I do have the uh, Whizbang Junior connected to my kid controller now. So that's uh, 400 and something watts. <laughs> and um, the total array is uh, 600, I believe. Let's see, 150 times 4, that is see, 400. 600, yep, 600 watts of power, and that's how much I'm getting right now. Just uh, in the crude direction that I kind of just laid them. And all that's getting pushed into my battery. And uh, take a look over here what it's doing right now on my kid I mean my mate 3 rather uh, if we want to go to 
see what the kid shunt is doing. We'll go to shunt, shunt B. And that's pretty accurate. 420. No, uh, well, I guess we had a little bit of wind today. Nothing too crazy, though. Um, it always says 10 kW um, all the time, so we got extra 20 watts, which is nothing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and this is what the total system's doing so far. And it is solar noon. January 3rd, 2016. And if you look over here, that's how much power I made so far today. And, um, yeah. Everything is doing good. Um, this is actually a, uh, a new addition that I started to make here. That's the um, controller, I mean the uh, breaker box for the midnight solar. And I started putting together this, but it's not done yet. Um, well, what used to be here was a water heater, and I took that out and put this Eco Temp natural gas tankless with a uh, circulating pump to help with getting the water upstairs and that is activated by when you turn the faucet on so there's no timer on it, on it like uh, usual like some of the ones you normally see it has a timer on it um, this was uh, all installed by me pretty much um, I am not a plumber by any means but uh, I think it looks good I mean I've had this oh for months now and had no problems with it that's my handy electric work there um, and uh, yeah, that's a, just a little bit on that. Uh, so I made more room. So I actually, uh, that's my old inverter there. GT FX2524. And that's my new addition there, which is the VFX3524. And, um, yeah. So I had the room, um, probably to code it's probably not supposed to be so close to this but uh, hopefully we're moving so um, I just kind of threw that together this does nothing um, as you see I'm not even I didn't even complete what I wanted to do but um, that is about it and um, yeah thanks for tuning in um, these are the conditions for today, if anybody's wondering, um, it is a nice sunny day, um, regardless to what that says. Um, I don't know what's going to go on later. I, I think, I think we are supposed to get rain or something later. So. Um, and then I got the tie go down there, which is doing very well. And that's about it. Um, yeah, uh, this is a circuit breaker that I have. Um, I made it so it's line and load. So this one's AC in to each inverter. Um, the two phases for each inverter. And this is the line out for each inverter. Which goes into my other room. But, um, I guess there's really no sense in getting real into the nitty-gritty of it all, because we won't be here too much longer, I don't think. 
Um, this is uh, the 80 panel mount breakers for this Outback controller here. Alrighty, so that is pretty much it. Um, that's what I've been up to. And it has been a real nice sunny day today. So far, here's another glimpse of my midnight. So yeah, uh, making around 400 watts out of 600, which yeah, isn't too bad, I think. Anyways, alrighty, that's uh, that's a wrap for today. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye now.